Let me tell you why I believe that life insurance is super important. Now, as a mom of four boys and as a wife and as a business owner, I understand how my income is super important to the lifestyle of my family, to their future, to their happiness, to their well-being. And obviously, I don't know when my life will come to an end. And hopefully, I'll live a very long time. But if I don't, I want to make sure that my kid's life is not changed too drastically financially if and when I do perish. So this is why I got life insurance, okay, so that I could take care of them in the unfortunate event of my untimely death. Good life insurance policy can give you the peace of mind that if something happens to you, you, your family will have a safety net to cover mortgage payments, college costs, or other expenses so that you can get back on your feet or they can get back on their feet, excuse me, and focus on what matters the most. If you already have coverage through work, chances are it's not enough money. A lot of times employer-sponsored life insurance does not call, uh, offer enough protection for your family's needs. It won't follow you if you leave your job either. Let me tell you from personal experience, it's super satisfying to check life insurance off your to-do list and getting covered can be even more satisfy satisfying when you use Policy Genius. I use Policy Genius to get my life insurance policy. So did my husband. It made the process so easy, so much so that we just recommended it to our mother who um, now has to get a new life insurance policy because she's outlived the policy she had before. And I was like, Mama, I'm going to tell you exactly where to go, what to do. Excuse me. And she actually went yesterday to uh, start the process. And she used what we told her to use and let Policy Genius know that here's the thing is who told her about mm. it. With Policy Genius, you can find life insurance policies that start at just $292 per year for a million dollars of coverage. Some options offer a same day approval and avoid unnecessary medical exams. Policy Genius has licensed award winning agents who can help you find the best fit for your needs. They work for you, not the insurance companies. That means they don't have an incentive to recommend one insurer over another so you can trust their guidance. Policy Genius is for parents, caregivers, and anyone who has people who depend on them. They simplify the process of getting life insurance so you can protect the people you love. No wonder they have thousands of five-star reviews on Google and Trustpilot. Your loved ones deserve a financial safety net. You deserve a smarter way to find and buy it. Hit to policygenius.com or click on the link in the description to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save. That's policygenius.com. Dot com and five, four, three, two, what up, y'all? Welcome to Here's the Thing. I'm Kevin on stage. She's that chick angel. That chick. Welcome to another podcast Baker, episode. Baker, smash Baker, that Baker, like button. Baker, smash Baker, that Baker, notification Baker, button. Bangers Baker, 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 of 2023. Bangers, bangers, bangers. Look for you and me. Church announcement. Berlin and Paris. Berlin. Ticket by ticket. Y'all on your way to 42 Soul. <laughs> Oh, but yeah. London, y'all doing great. We're almost halfway sold out of our biggest venue of the entire tour by like more than 600 seats. I don't know what my agent was thinking. If we did like a thousand, like most of them, this would be about to be sold out. But he was like 2,242 tickets. This is where? In London. Yeah. 2,242 tickets are available. So get your tickets, London people. Uh, pull up, Angel. What you got going on? BT Give me Awards. a Rita. Mm, 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 mm. Give me some of that tequila. Y'all already know. Stream one margarita. Latest remix house is with Snow the Product. We also have a remix with Saucy Santana. We also have a ladies remix with Sexy Red, Flo Millie, and Fendi the rapper. And of course, there's the OG version, the original version, One Margarita, which is at 13 million streamed on Woo! Spotify. Um, so Sexy Red is getting bigger too. Oh, Sexy Red Skeet. is not playing. You see me and you try to see what's up. Skeet. Did you just dab? Oh, my God. Yes, I did. Did you just dab? That's what she'd be doing. Is she that goes, her dance? She goes, ski. Uh -uh. Oh, I thought you were, because you know the dab was mine. I thought she just slid it. I was, was like, like, this is, I can do this. Uh, it looks like no, a dab, hey, but she hey, kind of hey, like hey, skis hey, with no, it. No, 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 we got it. That was part of the I yeah. was like, uh, remember to ask? No, do, do it. Do no. it all the time. <laughs> NFL player Stefan Diggs scored a touchdown last night. Uh -huh. And he was like, ski. Yeah. You Dick. said who? Who was it? Stefan Diggs. Who where is he at? He plays for the Buffalo Bills. Oh, okay. Ski. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's got hell okay, SRT. <laughs> Pull up on me. Flo Millie. I mean Flo Millie. Uh shout out to Sexy Red for all the glasses girlies. 
Listen. Sexy Red be like, where are my glasses? Right. She be like, I ain't about to put on a bunch of makeup. I got these glasses on. I glued down to the slate's front. Let's go. I got a stack of money and I got my, I mean, she be rapping with the full, no contact, no lacing, boy. Yeah. I got bad vision. Yeah, that's her. For all the glasses girlies who never wear their glasses during she, sex. And she be taking off them heels. She be barefoot out there. Her and Sukiyama. <laughs> all right. Uh, on the docket today, we got a lot. Yeah, Shout out do. to the Patreon. I want to thank y'all tremendously. Y'all gave me a PTO day this weekend. I was going to try my darndest to get in here this weekend, but y'all said, y'all, I, I submitted a PTO request and y'all, y'all approved it. Y'all they showed did. me love. I still be feeling like, oh, Patreon, they're going to be mad. They were like, Kev, take that break off. I want to watch the Colorado game anyway. We wouldn't fit to watch that video live. I was like, I respect it. So, I respect it. Uh, big Dion day, we, man. Big Dion day. Coach so we're Brian. back <laughs> with a lot. On the dock, we probably won't get to it all, so we'll, we'll catch up on the bonus. But today on the dock, we got Steve Harvey and Shirley Ooh. Strawberry's Strawberry Letter in real life. Ooh. I didn't know about this till the Patreon put this in the comments. Listen, I had I no idea this, this was morning. even happening. My kids was listening to it with me. They were like, what? <laughs> I said, what's <laughs> happened down to the Steve Harvey? Let me tell you. We got Diarrhea Plane. <laughs> No blessing. Diarrhea plane. We got uh, Lana Richie's been mad at Diana Ross for 37 years. Didn't know about it. Till yeah, the yeah, Beyonce yeah. concert. Uh, Tyrese in the Breakfast Club. Him and DJ Envy. Charlotte the Main. Oh, yeah. Saw that. Angela Yee. Yeah. The God. The God. They had a little bit of beef. Uh, and then we might talk about Erica Mano. That, that was from last week. Oh, God. And Columbus Short. Bless oh. his heart. <laughs> That baby Bless is not well. His heart. That's all on the docket today. The rest will pick up on the bonus. Let's start out with Steve Harvey and Shirley Strawberry. Woo, Jesus. Now, if you're unaware, Steve Harvey's morning show is one of the biggest syndicated morning shows. Thinking they're in like 50 markets now. Okay, 50, okay. 55 markets. Okay. Uh, he, said, uh, he said on this segment, they start off with four markets. He had lost everything, lost his job, lost his show. And when he got this radio show, they were in four markets. And now they're like 50. He Since Tom Joyner retired mm -hmm. steve has eaten up even tom more then retired yeah I, yeah he don't do the tom jordan morning show i, did not know I that. think he does the cruise still uh but he, he don't do the tom jordan morning show anymore well, if i'm not water. mistaken i don't know no. uh so steve and them is big right yes. if you're not familiar with the strawberry letter uh the strawberry letter it's like a dear dear abby or whatever this used to be called people yeah dear uh, abby People write in to Cheryl Strawberry their personal problems and they address it on air. Mm -hmm. Whatever the thing is in the letter, it could be from infidelity, it could be financial, it could be anything. Yeah. And they address it on the show. Yes. And also, shout out, shout out to Tiffany Hargett and the Patreon, Patreon producer who threw that in. So, what? Yeah, like Ask God Angel, but. Like Ask God Angel. Mm -hmm. So, apparently. Shirley Strawberry married to oh, a man Shirley. named Ernest, I call and he Shirley. go by Ernesto. I don't trust no black man going by Ernesto who ain't Latinx. Okay, mm okay, you slick. Yeah, you, it's giving me big Ernesto De La Cruz vibes. You you ain't who I thought. And from what I understand, he ain't a he, he ain't Latinx. He regular black. He was like, I ain't Ernest. I'm Ernesto. Uh huh. Red flag right there. Mm -hmm. So Ernesto, he go to jail though. El Prison. For some terrible, terrible stuff. All kind of charges. He's gone? He went or he just he went? He's in no, there. He's in there now. He Surely there they got him. Surely <laughs> they got Come him. Come on. <laughs> so him That's and Shirley, problem. they down to the jailhouse on the phone. Everybody know when you get a call from the jail, the first thing they say down to the jail phone is, you have a message from, insert jail name here, this call is being recorded. That's what they say, Josh. Is being recorded. Uh huh. I think after a certain amount of calls, they forgot that it was being recorded, or they never thought it was going to be leaked. That's what they thought. It wasn't going to be leaked. Because I ain't talking about no crime. Right. Right. So down to the Steve Harvey. Uh, the, I mean, on, on this phone call, she started talking about Steve Harvey. Uh -huh. She said Steve Harvey was wa walking up the stairs. Weezing. And this is this is no gossip. I heard it. No. Uh -huh. Uh, Steve was was wheezing. He was he, he was got up to the top of the stairs and he was wheezing. And Marjorie invites us down to their house, but we don't be wanting to go because they make us feel like the help. Mm. And uh, that call and not to mention he was talking to his mistress, mm. and that call got leaked. 
She said something along the lines of, I'm hot for you. And he said, when that thing get too hot, just pat it for me. I said, what? Oh, and then you listened to it. I didn't listen, I didn't listen to the leaked conversation. I, I, I read that one. No. I said, pat what? your <laughs> puss when it get hot. That's an old nigga. Hey, listen, pat. baby girl. When that thing get hot for me, go on down and pat, pat. that thing. Yeah, be? now put your now put your hand on the phone. Let me, <laughs> let let me, let me smell, smell Let me smell the phone. You know phone. how dirty that phone is? No, uh, no, pat the coochie, Josh. Oh, I thought she was talking about patting with the phone. No, no, no. no oh! He might have. Take, it, take the phone and beat yeah, your, your Rub the phone along whack, 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 whack. the side of your coochie so I can hear the hair gristles. <laughs> I know you got an old hairy coochie. I'm, I got to imagine my stuff because I'm in jail. Uh, so all these calls get leaked. Whew. And it becomes, and this is a crazy thing. I had no idea. These When I searched this on YouTube, Hundreds of videos about this. Really? Part one, part two, part seven. I just I searched and sent you the one that was condensed. That's the only one. But I it, it took to. some doggone searching mm. to find. I mean, the bloggers been blogging. They have because Steve is a titan, Steve. and they and it's like you said, his like for you, how your life became people's content. One thousand percent. His life is their content. Now. And them bloggers been. Eat. And he actually made a good point that we'll talk about later when uh -huh. he made his rebuttal thing it great. about it. But so they made, I don't want to say they made, but, but Shirley basically read her own strawberry letter. The, the whole herself. episode, the whole morning show, strawberry letter is usually maybe two segments. It was seven segments in this morning show, the whole hour. They came going back to break, back to the letter, back yes. to break, back to the letter. She had to apologize on air to I feel Steve. So bad for that oh. baby. She going through a lot. I felt bad for Steve and Marjorie, but I definitely felt bad for poor little Shirley. I said, "Yo, your husband is a uh, what I think a pedophile or some of the sort." Is that one of the charges? I, I thought it was a scammer. I thought he also abused he did some, her da her daughter. I saw oh. some of that in the comments, but I didn't. I didn't read all. I didn't yeah. get into it. Yeah, well, it was some egregious like. He's the one that's in there. He's in there. Yeah, oh, he, leave him in there. And yeah. he didn't, she didn't even know that he was in jail. Yeah. The first time she got the phone call, she was like, Fulton County Jail? I don't know nobody in jail. Oh, and then they, somebody too. texts her like, uh, Ernesto De La Cruz in jail. And mm -hmm. she, so the next time he called, she was like, hello. He was like, hey, man, I'm in jail. Pat that thing for me. And I also <laughs> used that on somebody <laughs> I'm else. This it. is all the I'm first time. I'm going to look and make sure I'm accurate <laughs> before we finish. <laughs> Oh, yeah, child pornography as well. Yep, there's a molestation Dang. and sexual assault. Like, oh, no, God. like, this is why I really felt felt terrible, yeah. terrible for her. Lord You've been married Jesus. for somebody, married to somebody for eight years, right? And you trying to stand beside them. These type of assault, these type of assault charges is not something that wash off. This is, no. Nick, this is who you is, okay? <laughs> and then not only that, you having a, what you thought to be a conversation that is with your spouse. Oh, and then it comes out. It's just like I said, oh, I got bubble guts for her. I would be duty that was myself. Her on the plane. Yes, it was. She was like, oh, God, I got it. Steve didn't hurt it. And it came out like during the time where Steve and them was already getting blasted about like the security guard thing. Yeah. Like the last month for Steve and Marjorie has been rough with the blogs and stuff because he was like, we never addressed the. But, you know, this time it's real, like at least this Shirley Strawberry yeah. thing. But he was saying, like, Marjorie been going through it because they call her everything but a child of God. People drag that beautiful woman all the time. She, have you ever heard her speak? Yeah, I have. A couple, but not, like, about people. No. I've never heard her voice. Like, I don't, she's not, to me, in my algo, mm -hmm. she's not, I haven't heard her say a lot. But it's just like, people just be like, Ugh. I don't like you. They just want a reason to dis. Uh, it, you know, she is a black woman, so they always go and find. They hate her daughter. They hate her, and she just over here just being gorgeous and living her rich life, and they can't stand it. And they like she a gold digger, and Steve explained in his little thing like, actually, when we met, I had nothing. I Let lost my TV show. I lost this, and before I even got any of like the Family Feud, I believe he said he got an '09. Yeah, he got an '09. And 09. then something else, in '11 in the book. Him and Marjorie got married, and uh, he got divorced in 2005. Had nothing. 2007 is when they got married. He had nothing going on. Two, and then 2009, he got Family Feud. No, no, before that, uh, then the, he found out people had stole 22 he got the million tax bill first. 22 million, okay? Whatever the inverse of a gold digger is what she was then. Listen, she upgraded that nigga. She, like, you talking about Delta Sky Miles, that man. 
from coach by the toilets up to forget first class to a PJ. Hold on. People in the comments are saying he did some animal stuff, too. Oh, my God. See, this is Hold on, man. Animal Shirley. stuff? Shirley. So now, not only is you embarrassed, Steve, you you got to be embarrassed with the man you chose. Hell, yeah, she's she embarrassed. And then his scamming had apparently cost her her house and her ring. She thought she was going to lose her job. Of course, because you talk about your boss, and it's on the airwaves. Let me tell you what. Steve Harvey better man than me. Let a phone call leak. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. I'll be right back to single me out, Zay Zay. Oh. You done graduated high school. Josh was down on that phone talking crazy. This is, here's the me. That, this show is called, <laughs> here's, the, here's me. the me. I don't care what this show be, 27 minutes long, an ad break every six minutes. Steve, they done hugged her and loved her. and Of course. Because the fact of the matter is, we all, especially when it's your spouse, we all vent everything we feel about anybody to our spouse. That's what I was just like. Who among us ain't had a rough day, rough interaction with, even amongst us? We're coworkers and friends. I definitely talked about your ass to Marcus, but I've also said a bunch of shit to your face, so you ain't got to worry <laughs> about it. You know when I leave her, I be like, Liz, let me tell this you how Angel pissed me off today. <laughs> Now she done come down and did this. Who girl? Now let me tell you. Absolutely. Yeah, she did. But no, that's I what know your she spouse come. is for. Well, who else am I going to talk to if I can't vent to her? So I know they, they, she probably is just feeling lucky that they didn't say more stuff. Oh, hell yeah. But I'm like, we all do that. But we all ain't on jail phones doing that. No. And then, like, I was talking to Melissa about this as I talked to her about you. Yeah. Uh, yeah for, uh, what, Paul's the this bitch angel part. Let me tell you this. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm like, the jail person, like, do you think they listen to the, the call in real time or do you think they listen to a playback to see if you're talking about, like, crime or smuggling? I think because of her status as, even though she's not, like, maybe mainstream celebrity to everybody because mm -hmm. of her status, I'm sure they listen to that real time. If I was working at a jail and you came in to visit somebody. Me? Yeah. I'm oh, yeah. listening. Oh, yeah. During. I'm not going to freaking wait. I want to know what the fuck you talking Plug about. Me. Hey, Plug, tap me in. Tap in. Shut up. Yes. Remember how you used to do on three-way when three-way came out? <laughs> Call me Shut through up. it. Shh, shh, shh. Yeah. Don't. Is somebody breathing? <laughs> right. There's no way they waited. They were like, ooh, this is good. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Write it down, put it in my log so I don't have to search for this. <laughs> they probably recorded it in real time. This probably wasn't even the official recording from the prison cell. This was them recording on their cell phone, listening in real time. And the voice oh, notes going like this. Nigga. Yeah. If you smart, that's what the fuck you gonna do. What? That's just like when Beyonce and Jay-Z were fighting in the elevator. Did yeah. nobody go back to look at that footage? They were <laughs> looking in real time. You better be looking at that and it just so ooh, happened they ooh, looked ooh, up. Ooh, they looked up ooh, that day. Yes. So that's what you can't wait for the opportunity to. to uh, you can't be like, oh, let me check later. You got to be in the opportunity as it presents itself. Absolutely. And one opportunity I want to tell y'all about is Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the largest independently owned daily fantasy sports or DFS platform in North America. Now listen, when you want to test your skills on prize picks this football season. It is truly the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into 250 with just a few taps. Prize picks is really simple to play. Um, I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds. Quick withdrawals, easy play, an enormous selection of players. Stats, types are what make prize picks the number one daily Fantasy Sports app. Prize Picks now offers um, Apple Pay for quick and easy deposits into your account this football season. As someone who knows very little about football, let me tell you, this is very easy to play, okay? Even if you're not a huge football fan, but you just want to be able to be, like, into what everybody else is into because fantasy football is what people are doing. Fantasy sports, excuse me, is what people are doing right now. So, try Prize Picks, though. It makes it super duper easy. And then you can uh, possibly win some money. You could possibly turn $10 into $250. Mm-hmm. 
You better give it a try. Okay? <laughs> Go to prizepicks.com slash SK. SK. And use code SK, SK. SK. for a first deposit match up to $100. Go to prizepicks.com slash SK. SK. And use code SK for a SK. first deposit match up to a hundred dollars hundred dollars i didn't even know i saw somebody say hi marcus in the comments and so i was looking for my husband in the comments and then i saw that he's he's in the building i saw that gorgeous black Big old man. tall cell but yeah i think <clears throat> when it comes to that for cheryl just listening to her little voice shake and quake I felt I felt awful when she started crying. I did too. What did it, and you know if because Steve and them teased this last week, mm -hmm. they teased it on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I used to listen to the Steve Harvey Morning Show religiously mm -hmm. when I uh, was living here and taking Zay Zay to. Um, That's why you old act him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll do it. Steve it, Harvey will. It, boy, because he don't he's gonna pronounce that W with what? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I didn't know what Shelly said. Uh -huh. She done called me fat. My he, he gonna he love W. Yeah, you do. If if his the whole fine's in ten, that W is in twenty eight. Come fine. on. Uh, but I used to listen to it every day when Zay Zay was doing Little Rascals. Now I don't spend as much time in the car, um, so I don't listen as much. Uh -huh. But when I tell you, I was I was poking around. I was about yeah. to download the iHeart Radio app, so she knows every. I'm talking about millions. Yeah. Of people, yeah. and as a person who's not as big as Steve Harvey, when my life became content, it wasn't even millions yet. But I was really looking at them videos like, oh my god, y'all yeah. is talking about me. Hundreds of videos. One thing Steve said that I thought was great. He was pissed off at them black bloggers. Uh, uh, understandably was, oh, yeah. so. What? I get it. And he said the thing y'all don't understand is, if it was just one of y'all, like TMZ or Perez Hilton or whatever the Shade Room, whatever the group is. Y'all would get paid, but because it's so many of y'all ripping the same content, it's not reaching millions of views. You got to make millions of views to make real, real money on YouTube or mm -hmm. have a lot of hours of watch time. Yeah. But all these podcasts having two point, I mean, these videos having 2.7 thousand views, nobody's really making no money, but to her, she's not Steve. So Steve has been the focus of stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. I know she was like, oh, my God. I don't even think that's what I think it's more so not about other people talking because she says we ignore blogs all the time. I think it was because her close friend, she now caused her oh, to yeah. her close friend. I think that's what really, really got her. Absolutely. I agree. I agree. And I was just saying that's probably the first time she's ever been the focus uh, of the negative attention. Uh -huh. And they had her dead to rights. Oh, yeah, there was no, she just had to, excuse me, I'm over here spitting. Yeah, she, I mean, and she apologized. It's just, I think we all, like we said before, we talk about the people that we love. Kevin talk about his parents. I talk about my mama. I'll talk about my sisters to my husband. It's never something that we ever want to use as something to hurt our, the person that we love, if right. that makes sense. Right. It's never, it's just us. Like getting our feelings out. Yeah, because you don't want to say it to them. I and sometimes you, when you be in your feelings, it, it may come across more hurtful than it would ever be to the person. Yeah. You know I, what I'm saying? I don't even like to publicly talk about people I dislike. Mm. Like that's mm -hmm. not even a part of my yeah, MO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could really dislike a person and I'm definitely not going to try to use my platform to then talk about that person to make that person feel worse about them. I'd much rather say that to their face. For sure. So when a private, would she, I'm saying private in the sense of obviously she knew it was recorded, but not something that she thought would ever be used as ammunition to take down a person. I know for her, especially with everything Steve and Marjorie was going through, she's just like, and now I am a part of more trouble for you. Yeah, and in addition to that, whoever uh, held them, whoever uh, leaked them, waited, waited like a year. Absolutely. Because apparently this was happening, these calls took place yeah. in uh, October of last year. Yeah. Since then, her and the husband have broke up and blah, blah, blah. But they released them a couple weeks ago or a week or so ago, uh -huh. within the last month. So the timing for Steve and Marjorie was just terrible. And apparently she threw her daughter on the bus. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I was not finna spend all my day on Monday 
listening to all of them jail calls because it was hours worth of content. Jesus. And I didn't want to hear him say. How many was that. it in total? Did they say at least the number of calls? I've seen like, I don't know if it's one call to one call ratio, uh-huh. but I've seen like Shirley Strawberry, Hutter, uh, Shirley Strawberry Husband uh, jail call part six, part eight. Lord. So I'm like, I don't have time. And I don't know the whole thing scenario right and i just didn't want to listen to it all That's a lot i just i catch were, me up they were cooking a rico on the calls bro listen <laughs> just catch me up i and i and that is what i think to steve's point why listen we are like a blog in a way of how we cover things yeah. but we, we rarely if ever cover anything that's a legend that is a what a legend <laughs> But at the, uh, I will say that what you talking about. You just reminded me about something. Go ahead. I don't want to interrupt your point. Oh, okay. Um, however, I will say to his point, I think there are way too many black bloggers, and there's probably a bunch of white ones, but I don't know them like that, that make their money off of negativity. Yeah. To, to make it off of the demise. Obviously, yeah, we cover hot topics. That's the reason why we're talking about this. It was recommended to us by Patreon members. But it is not our, um, our the purpose of our podcast to try to kick people when they're down. The purpose of our podcast is to try to make y'all laugh. Whatever yes. the topic may be. Yes. But go ahead. What was the point? Come on. Before you lose it. Brick lady. Oh, okay. Is, Apparently. Oh, it's an allergic reaction. Angel, I don't know what the truth is. I don't either. What I know that I've seen, though, <clears throat> she has had another. I've seen a video of her similar. She had a, a like a knot right here. And they beat me up. They did this to me. Y'all beat up a 30-year-old black woman. And I've seen a screenshot of another GoFundMe from her. I, I didn't know black, she even had a GoFundMe this time. I didn't know she had a GoFundMe this time either. A black girl, I seen a black girl on TikTok who was like, you over here saying black men did this. Apparently, she, this is what the black lady saying. Alleged, alleged. Alleged, alleged. The black girl was like, there's no police report. Apparently, there was police down the street from the incident. She didn't file. She didn't go to them. She said the black, this is what the blog or the TikToker said. The black men around her <clears throat> weren't... Uh, they didn't do anything. They, they were just confused, apparently. Uh, I've heard all kinds like, of stuff. Wait, wait. So what? I'm like, Lord, I don't know what is what. But if <laughs> I, two times in a row, if I. <laughs> you got to let it go, Kevin. I'm going, you're going to just going to get me. I'm believing black women first, but I might take more time before I cover it on the podcast. <laughs> oh, no. I'm gonna We're going to cover it ignorantly <laughs> and condemn the people who did nothing. What y'all think? It's okay to hit her with a brick. Allergic reaction. What? No, oh, man. You think a mosquito bitter? <laughs> that was a black. She said she got hit. Also, I'm seeing an abscess like a cartoon. Terrible. What you want me to believe? Mm-hmm. There was men in the video. How? And I don't think somebody's possible to like set up an allergic reaction in the in the middle of the street right. and time that. You got a mosquito. <sighs> and I didn't know she had to go fund me once or twice. Either. I was I just like, dang, this is crazy, man. Protect black women. And then I seen this. I was like. Man. Oh, I'm sorry. That makes you go, man. I'm like, well, hopefully she'll get karma. I don't mind that I was like upset because if that were true, I should be upset. Yeah. And, I, and if I'm upset at an allergic reaction, what allergic to her? What was it? <laughs> Peanuts, <laughs> mosquitoes, or a black man? Somebody was wrong. People I'm was, protecting you, black woman. And so we still don't know which one it is. We don't know if she actually was hit or if it was allergic reaction. I just know there was a lot a lot of media trying to discredit her. And I was like, okay, is it because per usual when black women say stuff, we always trying to find a way to be like, bitch, you lying. (laughs) Or is she someone who be lying? I don't, I, I'm not about to investigate. So y'all gonna just have to tell me when the truth comes out. Yeah. 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 (laughs) (laughs) Just like old girl with the little baby running down the street. (laughs) Carly Russell. Yeah, that's her name. Do you see how I don't even remember? Bless her heart. She's still alive, and uh, I'm and happy listen. about that. So, yeah, anyway, uh, I hope to God she's okay, regardless of what happened. Yeah, and if she's unwell and she is lying, I hope she gets some help so she can stop doing this and yeah. have a regular job and make some money and stop yeah. doing GoFundMe. Yeah, Patreon is saying she, she posted her ER, ER records and all this stuff. And honestly, I don't know. I don't know. What I do know is 
Last week, I seen this news. <laughs> a plane from Atlanta to Barcelona. No, no, no. Let's not get off of Steve real quick. Hold on. You want to go back? Go back. I just wanted to say, oh. because the one thing that we didn't, the one thing that we didn't say. Say what you need to say. Is the way Steve went hard for Marjorie at that Listen. end. I said, now that's right. That's right. You didn't want today, Steve. Because he was like, y'all ain't going to keep talking about my baby. He said, she's the best chick I have ever met. And I was like, exactly. Sometimes these men in high places, they can't really step out of character because right. they have to keep a composure about themselves. I was so glad. He was like, y'all keep talking about my woman. Listen. He said, because if I see you, she was like, Cheryl, Shirley, that's her name. I'm going to call her Cheryl because I just want to. You ain't even having Shirley. Uh, was like, okay, we will cut to a break right now. <laughs> Listen, and also, I'm going to tell you what else I, I understood about Steve. I, I connected with him uh, in this moment. And as a person who's been on that side of bloggers, he was like, this is why we don't fool with nobody. This is why we sit up in our house and don't invite <laughs> said, nobody. Don't nobody get to come over our house. Listen, there are probably less than 10 human beings mm -hmm. on earth that have been to my home, mm -hmm. the current home I live in. Three are in this room mm -hmm. now. <laughs> the rest of them are mostly related to this pe the people in this room or mm -hmm. dating the people in this room. Actually, probably like 15 because I forgot. Um, Angel got four kids. So I got a lot of children. They all been up a in there. Good six. But that's like. Maybe households represented. Yeah, yeah I yeah. like that. I like that. Yeah, households represented. And I'm telling you, it's going to be hard for me. It is hard for me to make friends that in this L.A. world. <clears throat> and it's even harder to make more than I currently have now. No, right, sorry. the people that I have, it's okay. I, I, like, I know, I, like I know, you okay with it, especially now in your career. You like to be home, and now I'm, I'm looking at everybody. Oh, yeah. What's your angle? I'm very big, major pain. What's your angle? How you gonna do? Is you really about this friendship, or are you trying to get close? Yeah. So, but what I tell you at my brother's funeral, this, this drove me crazy. People was over there, like, man, listen, I'm gonna be that angel up. Listen, man, I'm sorry about your brother. Listen, if I could get you to Fayetteville. Stop it. Dead serious. Why didn't you go Quack. <laughs> at the funeral? Quack. If I could get you to Fayetteville. I wish you would have told me or somebody. to do this show, man. Kevin, you know, I would have cussed in that That's sanctuary. what I, listen. I, I was right next to Angel. Sanctuary. Sanctuary. I was with Angel the whole time. Yes. It was me, Josh, and McKinley. At, all in sitting the, in a row. Not even repass. In, in the sanctuary. Beside the body. Cold body. He in there. Hey, man, listen, I've been trying to get your people, man. I would have got blacklisted from that church. <laughs> what? I'm oh. right now. Oh, Y'all yeah. think I'm joking. I, I Why would I lie about this? I know you're not lying. But in the I email, in the uh, email, in the vestibule. Mm -hmm. Man, I've been trying to get your booking, man. Who Who is your people? We, just... we was trying to get you down to our family reunion. See, people know you got sense. <laughs> That's why people do that to you. They said, this Kevin, he still got to be a church boy. <laughs> That's right. They don't try it with this hellion over here. Sometimes I wish I should just, it was just in my personality to flip out on people. Just flip out, man, like Jerry Maguire. But I'm just like, not like that. I'd be like, get him, Kim. I very rarely, if ever, lose my temper. One time at All Deaf, though, I lost my temper. Mm -hmm. I remember <clears throat> Meg was Meg was notoriously cheap. I don't think cheap. so. That's why I said. I don't think Josh was here. here. He had went on to be with um, unemployment by this time. Amen. Uh, Meg was notoriously cheap like mm -hmm. great producer should be always came under budget and this one time and i told the story before on like a squad cast or whatever one or zoom with the homies one time she didn't order we used to get lunch for free on wednesdays i believe right yeah mm -hmm. so like, we're and then it was every other wednesday yeah and then it was once a wednesday like then once. it was like I, we're finna close so bring a peanut butter and jelly sandwich broke niggas <laughs> so this one time to save money she didn't order lunch for us the talent like we were shooting great taste or something like that. And it was an all-day shoot. She didn't order lunch for us. She told Denzel not to order lunch for us. And so we go to like, hey, where's, where's lunch? We're breaking for lunch. They're like, oh, yeah, we didn't order lunch because, you know, it's Wednesday. Y'all go downstairs to get something to eat. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Go downstairs to get something to eat. All the food is gone. The whole office Because it's like first eat. come, first serve. Yeah. In the past, it was like, uh, pick your meal. It'll be delivered in boxes. Yes. And, and then, then they switched were, over to like buffet And then people were still in boxes, style. so they just did buffet. So... We go downstairs and I'm like, there's no food. Is, did y'all say lunch aside? And we're like, oh, Denzel's like, no, I, 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 thought, I, I, I thought there'd be enough. I said, you mean to tell me y'all, we already don't get paid to be in these videos. Like our right. salaries are paid. Yeah. And I was like, y'all didn't even set aside. It was six of us. Food will make you cuss somebody Fifth, out. Nigga. 
Food will make you well, do it. Those shoot days were a true eight hours. They were legit. You come in at nine, you to, walk out at seven. They're trying to shoot six episodes. Yes. And Great Taste used to take really long to shoot. We shoot like an hour and 15, 20 minutes well, there for wasn't one a set, video. There wasn't a set time on it. If, if they kept going, they just keep rolling. Yeah. So I was like, Meg, you didn't. You, okay. First of all, our lunch was like $15 a person. There was six people. She booked lunch for the sound man and the uh, the producer, the people who weren't all deaf people. Uh -huh. And she booked lunch for the people. There was like one person who wasn't an all deaf person. I say, we don't get the dignity of at least set aside something for us. If like we were other talent. It's like a $7,500 difference, maybe. 70, it was like $15 for six people. That's not going to change nothing. And she was like, I was going off on Denzel. And then he was like, man. <laughs> And I was fussing, mm -hmm. like big fussing. She was like, you're right. I apologize. I was trying to save money, but I didn't think about the fact that y'all, because they went down and ate during a break. Let me tell you. I said, nigga, I'm, st listen, I can do a lot. But, but you I can't to eat. You I might as well punch me in the face if you ain't going to feed me. And punch me in the face. If it's food or a punch, sock me first while my jaw is clicking. Out of me. <laughs> can cuss me so I can forget that you didn't buy me lunch. No, because you know by the time, when, you, when you're shooting, you like okay, cool. We got one more. I'm right. starving. I'm I gonna be eat. eating in 33 It'll minutes. I get the back. If you're hungry, nothing's funny. There's no food. No, and there was no food downtown. Like that, I could be eating in five minutes. Mm. Oh, we go order something. We're gonna be here in an hour. D listen, an hour. Yeah, no. It, it, let let it have been hot. <laughs> I would have went. Uh, you know what? All of y'all, I'm leaving. I don't care how many more episodes y'all needed before. Y'all don't appreciate me. You call my mother the N word. <laughs> like it is all, all everything's bad. Nothing's I can't do funny. it. No. Nothing's funny. But yeah, and then you, you want me to go and be funny and laugh? Talking about food, my favorite foods. When I'm hot, my stomach is like, yeah, nigga. If I could have a sandwich right now, that'd be cool. Oh no. I would much rather you were a person who went off. That way, it would be much easier to read when you be pissed off. I just have to go about. Mm, he mad. Mm. <laughs> that is true. I'd be like, mm, he mad. <laughs> okay. Well, that when I get pissed off, I'd be like. <laughs> I'd be like, mm, he, yeah. Okay, yeah, he's a in my mind. Boy. I remember one time we were shooting workplace comedy. I know, I'm thinking uh, of that. Oh boy, he, yeah. this DP pissed me off so cold. Oh man, and I was so calm. They pulled me aside. They were like, "Listen, we know, we know." Uh, they said, "We uh, get it. We really like him." The bro, tapped my shoulder. I was like, "I'll, I'll break your wrist." I said, "Bro, all right, bet." I'm like that Cam Newton gif where he's like, "Okay." Because in my mind, I've that's, already decided that's, uh, that's your future. Ryan from the office. You're just yeah. like, click, click. I've decided your future. <laughs> Bet. You ain't got to worry about me. Don't even worry about it. You Don't ain't got to worry, worry about, about me. me. All right, Dookie playing. So, like I was saying, Dookie. Uh, there was a flight from Atlanta to Barcelona. Mm -hmm. And I see in the headline, flight turned around because a uh, pastor has violent diarrhea. Mm -hmm. And it's all through the plane. Yeah, and I'm is. like, what are you talking about? All through the plane. I didn't click on the article, right? Yeah. Okay. But the thing kept getting bigger, the situation. Mm -hmm. So Phil Lewis, who's the resident news director of Black Twitter from the Huffington Post. Uh, what, a, what a great. He's the best. He, the black folks, we get our news from Phil Absolutely. Lewis. Right? He got waves still. I respect the man who got waves. Really? Past 30, yes. Because God has kept you. Amen. Because a lot of people get waves. He take their hairline. He's anointed. And he's anointed. He, he full hairline oil. down here. He keeps it hydrated. It's really? moisturized. Oh, that is amazing. Mm -hmm. So he showed a video. And there was doo doo oh, all I never saw the down. Video. Oh, the, it, it just keeps going. It all keeps going. down the aisle. I would open the door. Josh, when I tell lie. you, Crack the window. first thing I thought of is that poor person. Yeah. Who's, I have doo dooed on myself before. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Twinsies. Mine was recent. Oh, oh man. no, no, no. They didn't. Oh, no, no, no. I it was, was like a, it no. was like a pull up to the toilet. All right, cool. I, it was like a buzzer beater. No, oh, no, no, no. Mine I've went into overtime. Into <laughs> the underwears. Oh, it's soiled. <laughs> underwears. I mean, granted, I wasn't a grown person. How old were you? Uh, let's see. We lived in Louisville, so I could have been eight, nine. I was twenty one. <laughs> I was about to say, oh, wow. Kevin is not eight, was, nine years old. I was old. twenty years old. I was twenty, not twenty. Is that where the joke came from? Yes, actually, that joke was a true story. I was in my junior year of college. This is right before me and Melissa got married. Well, if you, well, I've almost doodled on myself as a thirty-something-year-old woman, but I didn't. doodled. I lost. 
Mm, where battle. were you? I was on the bus from University of Washington. I've never told you the story. I don't believe so. I've done it on my. I've done it. I did it the first whole it tour, was, I believe, uh, or second first tour. First real comedians tour. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I I ate some old Rocky Road that oh. had sat out all night in Melissa's room. Mm-hmm. I was like, I can hold it. I got a dude, but I can hold it. Melissa was like, go to the bathroom, man. You're not going to make it. And mm-hmm. I was like, no, this is a subway. The, the, the bathroom key's on a long spoon. It's going to be disgusting. Mm-hmm. Long story short, about five minutes from the bus station, mm-hmm. I gave up the ghost. <laughs> Whatever muscle holds your butt closed that yeah. I had been fighting. <laughs> It uh, did it. Uh, that that, that Mitch, it Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell. I felt my butt being like, hey, man, listen, I did all I could. <laughs> Can't do no more. Oh, I've been watching uh, Last Kingdom on um, on Netflix, which uh-huh. is like medieval Game of Thrones type stuff with no magic. And they'd be ramming doors down all uh-huh. the time. That's what it was. And listen, eventually, if you don't kill those niggas, <laughs> they going to they they gonna get that gate open. And that's what happened. They was like. Do you be starting to sweat when you be. Tra- don't I you probably hate lost it? seven pounds of, of <laughs> water weight. Sweating bullets. Yeah. I clenched my fist. Melissa slept this whole time. Biting my lips. Sitting like this. Mm-hmm. You can't. And, and eventually, and I was just like, like, "Don't think about it." That is the only thing you can think oh, about. Oh, it is not going to let you not think about no, it. No, you I can't. I made Vinny pull off of the expressway <laughs> to a Starbucks. He had to eventually text me. It was like, "Miss Angel, are you okay?" I was like, "No." He was in there making a caramel macchiato. Oh, yes, it was. Yes, it was. Ah, ah! This is yep. a vente poop. When I was seven, eight, or nine, whatever it was, we were leaving Lex- Louisville, Kentucky, to drive to Baltimore. As we were, we had went to the gas station. We got all the little snacks and stuff. Um, I thought I had to fart. I was sitting. <laughs> oh, in the back. it snuck. And I went to fart, and doo doo just started to fill my underwear. Oh no! <laughs> and I was like, my mother's gonna beat me. She's she's going to beat me. So I <laughs> just started to feel my I was like Helen was, Baylor was, and was, my head hit the wall. Boom. boom. And doo doo began to feel my underwear. <laughs> feel it. And so I'm just like, cause we had KFC, cause we stopped to get KFC. And so you know In I'm, Kentucky. I, have, I have a black mother. So you know we got napkins galore. So I am just like, hey, can I have a napkin? I'm asking for napkins for I don't know how long. And I'm just stuffing. <laughs> them into my pants to try to sop up some of this poop. The sop problem up. was I couldn't stop pooping. Oh, <laughs> that was the problem. Okay. Once the door is open, yeah. it's open. I Whatever's t- in there coming out like soft serve. Yeah. I was holding it and holding it and then it would keep coming. Can I have some more napkins? And then I remember my sister Daisy being like, hey, are you still fun? It stinks in here. And then finally... I had to cry out. I said, Mama! <laughs> Mama! <laughs> I need to use the restroom. We had to go to one of them rest stations. Oh. You know, on the side of the road. I still, I'm still pooping. We get to the rest Angel, station. Angel, how much you got? Everything came up out of me. She had to, my mother had to wash my underwear and pants in the restroom. In sink. the sink? Yeah, she had to. Uh, I would I love to hear Mama Dorothy's perception on I did get a whooping. I was so happy. At that I, point, you got to feel sorry for that baby. I was like, I, <laughs> I thought you would be mad at me. Because the thing is, I started shitting on myself, and we were still in the city limits. It was a whole hour and some away before I just knew I couldn't take it no more. I was like, it won't stop. It won't stop. You thought stop. it would be a little dribble and none, and then it just it just it just that kept on. I was. I, I felt I was just like, she's going to beat the you peeing on yourself is already That's whooping one worthy. Do do it on you just Henri. I just knew she was gonna beat my, the life out of me. But you know what? I live to see another day. You live. But just in case I don't, I'm glad I have a trust and will. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's our next ad. Trust and will is um, a new sponsor for our podcast. Actually, we've dealt with them before. <laughs> and let me tell you, <laughs> I've had a lot of big positive changes in my life here recently. Uh, as you all know, I am now a raptress. I've added a whole nother um, hyphen to all the things that I do. And we build up our lives with bright moments of joy, pride, and success. And however you define those moments, securing your future should be a part of that journey. Traditional estate planning can cost 
thousands of dollars. I know this from experience. It costs a lot. And one size fits all templates may not capture all may not capture all the important details of your life you've built. With trust and will, you can protect your legacy from the comfort of your home starting at just $159. I want y'all to understand the major, major difference. Going with trust and will. One, not only are you saving yourself a lot of money versus going um, uh, the more traditional way of going with a uh, trust and will attorney, because that can cost you easily $7,000 just off the gate. Again, I know this from experience. Trust and will not only can save you uh, money, but they also still make the process very straightforward as well as they understand all the things. It's, uh, for every state, there are different policies when it concerns trust and uh, uh, getting a will or a trust. And especially if you're trying to avoid a very long, arduous uh, probate process, Having a trust and will in place and using trust and will, oh man, it will give you a peace of mind that you truly won't understand until you actually experience. Each will or trust is crafted by states to be state specific and customized to your specific needs. For example, care wishes, nominating guardians, final arrangements, and power of attorney. Help loved ones avoid lengthy and expensive legal proceedings or having the state decide what happens to your assets. That's what, this is the reason why you want to do this. You want to be able to make sure if you leave this earth, your stuff goes to the people that it's supposed to go to. I know we very much so wanted to make sure our children were taken care of by the people we wanted to take care of our children. Trusted will secure your information with bank level encryption. Live customer support is available through phone, chat, and email. Hundreds of thousands of families and county have used their expertise for estate planning. Gain peace of mind today with Trust and Will. Get 10% off plus free shipping of your estate plan documents by visiting trustandwill.com slash SK. SK. That's 10% off and free shipping at trustandwill.com. Slash SK. SK. So last night I made dinner for the boys. Uh, I made dinner for me and Marcus, and then I made a separate dinner for me and the boys. And you know what I made it with, and that is HelloFresh, because HelloFresh gives me farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients de excuse me, delivered right to my doorstep so I can skip trips to the grocery store. So last night I made these the boys this um this roasted vegetable parmesan uh pina pasta. So good. It had um Roasted zucchini. I roasted some red peppers. Had some peas in there with the good Parmesan cheese. I made a roux for the um, penne pasta. That thing. Mm, uh, it, what do they call it? Smacks? Yes, that's what it did. And then for me and Marcus, I made Southwest shrimp tacos. Mm. Them things was so good. The uh, shrimp were just seasoned to perfection. Also has some grilled onions as well as grilled green peppers mm. with a little bit of spicy crema. I'm crema, you, big <laughs> fan of crema. Crema with some pico de gallo. I'm going to eat some more of that when I get home. I'm glad I thought about it. Oh, so anyways, with HelloFresh, let me get back on topic. When it comes to options, honestly, more is more. That's why HelloFresh menu includes 40 recipes and over 100 add-on items to choose from every week. A busy fall schedule doesn't always leave you time to spare. And with HelloFresh, you don't need to spend all evening in the kitchen to whip up a wholesome meal. With their quick and easy recipes and 15-minute meals, you can easily you can easily have a tasty dinner on the table in less than it takes to get takeout or delivery. HelloFresh is more than just dinners. You can also stock up your fridge with easy breakfasts, quick lunches, and fresh snacks. Shop HelloFresh Market and add any of these tasty time-saving solutions to your weekly box. When you get HelloFresh, you know you're getting top-notch produce since it travels from the farm to your door in less than seven days. And when you get HelloFresh, you know you're... Oh, that says the same thing again. You know what I said. Get HelloFresh, Okay. <laughs> Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50SK. 50SK. And use code 50SK. 50SK. For 50% off plus 15% off the next two months. This deal is amazing. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50SK. 50SK. And use code 50SK. 50SK. For 50% off plus 15% off for the next two months. It's HelloFresh America's number one meal kit.
Shout out to Kiara Dangerfield, Patreon producer who suggested Dookie Plain. And Dookie Whitney Plain. Lester suggested this next topic on the Patreon. Lionel Richie being mad at Diana Ross for not singing their hit song together, but she sang happy birthday to Beyonce. Oh, be Let's listen to Lionel at one of his concerts. Piss me off. I said, oh, that hard. says that I said, I want Twitter to keep playing the video. When it, I swipe up, leave me, leave said, me no, be. The game. You gotta be careful when you swipe up though. Yeah. Stop. Just why well, I mean like to close it. Like oh, okay. I'm done with this. Don't put I it never, in the corner. You know what that's like? I was going to Twitter do a parody video. of it. <clears throat> what? And this, his thing. And to be like, you know, for 10, for nine cities, I asked Kevin to come see the, is this going to cause an argument tour? And he said, no. Instead, he over, over at tabs, having a good time. Piss me off. I get why he's mad. You make time for who you want to make time for. No, I'm just playing. But I, I, I know you would be like, Angel. <laughs> Angel, you know I tried. Listen, he been he been. I don't. I, what, what song did they sing? Uh, uh, endless something love. love. My endless, endless love. love. Diana don't want to do it. Diana don't pop out like that. I don't see her that I often. Said, where they go find her? Man, Diana, Diana is not a spring chi chicken. She is in the winter time of her life. She is what seventy three. And a lot of those greats that you know they're going on to meet the Lord. I'm so glad for all those that are alive. Seventy nine. Yeah, she almost eighty. We didn't lost Aretha. We done lost. We Reef lost Reef. Tina Turner. We done lost so Tina T. We don't need them out here in the open air all the time. We want to keep them safe. <laughs> keep them wrapped up, tied up, tangled up. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, Beyonce ran down. I didn't want her to run in heels. I did. Because she could have failed. She could have, but she you, wouldn't have, though. You chance falling for Diana. She's almost failed before. But she hadn't almost. Beyonce she's, has fallen. She's Beyonce fallen. She got her hair down this tour, didn't she? She uh, got her hair stuck tour. in the fan. Oh, no. Or at least a stumble or two. Oh, maybe. Because I, I feel like I said, I feel didn't like Didn't Michelle healing. fall too? Oh, yeah. And she looked at Michelle. Nigga, kept not on a singing. three minute video of Beyonce falling, tripping compilation. Yeah, Beyonce be falling. Because <laughs> Beyonce puts it all out there. She's not doing the type of moves that. Either you stick it or you done or you she, on the floor. Oh, didn't she fall with Solange at the Coachella thing? Yeah. I oh, thought they both fell. fell. Beyonce didn't fall in a lot. <laughs> I keep on falling. Okay, she had her hair stuck in the fan. So you know Beyonce yeah. didn't fail. Michelle Williams was with, um, I think she was, it was Terrell or Larry, one of them. I can't remember. And she, he was like, why are you always falling? She was like, I fell once. I fell one time. Yeah, we didn't watch it a million times, so it feels like it you feels keep like falling. <laughs> hey, why you keep falling in this video? Why won't it fix itself? Get up. <laughs> Stop doing it that. It feels like way more. Oh, hell yeah. Get up, girl. Get up. Sitting down, get up from there. When Diana Ross comes to Terrell. your show, you run. Who would you run? Because I, I know that you shouldn't run no more. Your son showed you that. But who would you run? I, I told my I went and talked to JoJo about this last night. Why? I said, you know what hurts me about you racing me and winning? You've beaten me once and for all. Because all you they're going to do is get back? faster. No. I told back. him I thought about hiring a trainer. You should come do a it. A speed coach. Please. Why not? Do because it. Because. Since you missed the road to 40, this I is did. the road to, to beat JoJo. Road to redemption. This yeah, road to redemption. I like that. Road to, come on, Kevin. But the thing that I'm concerned about Why? is Don't Kevin be. Hart tearing his abdominal. No, a coach not, is going to build you up. He's not right. just going to let you. And, and then you're, you're uh, training for this specific goal. Kevin has just been training to be in shape. Yeah. Bump that. I want to put the, the parachute on my back. No. See, you're trying to do too much. That's once, what the Kevin. speed coach does. Well, they put the parachute on. <laughs> Kevin, this is a That's good idea. That's probably why I didn't win. I wasn't going. Your shirt was a parachute. That's why you should have been shirtless. But I told him, I said, if you, if I, if I lose, like losing to you now, you're not even in your fastest. And I am at my fastest. No, 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 you're not. Kevin, come on. No. Kevin. I did tell them, though. I said, but y'all ain't putting up 205 on that bench, though. What's up? And I showed them that video. 
I said, don't, hey, don't ever trip. I'm, 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 I still got 205. What's up? Well, no, nah, no, nah, what's up now? I said, let's wrestle. Let's have a decathlon. You beat me in the race. Kevin, your kids aren't supposed to know that they're stronger to you than you or faster than you until their 20s. They're not so stronger than I me. I need you no. to get back in there. No, because what if I tear my abdominal and then we can't do the tour? It's already torn, Kevin. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> Let's all be honest. We both have diastasis recti here. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, train, Kevin. Nah, I man. want this for you. I don't want it. I don't care. I'm out. What were we talking about? We were talking about Lionel the Rich. Oh, Richie the Piss Lionel. Piss me off. Oh, who would you run for, That's Kevin? That's who I run for. Beyonce. Would you? She's at her. She's at the top of her. She's at the top of her game. Yeah. I would probably run. Do they only give me musicians? No. Just who? If somebody showed up to your show. Ooh, to put up you, on me? And to wish you a happy birthday. Right before you were getting ready to come out, instead of it being Brandon Lewis or Tahir bringing you out, you all of a sudden heard a different voice. T.D. Jakes? Oh, that's really. A good one. I would lose it if I got, if oh, T.D. Jakes. Go probably there do it right now. <laughs> if T.D. Jakes said, get ready, get ready, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, I still haven't met T.D. Jakes. I want to meet T.D. Jakes. Okay, that's happening. This year. Yeah. People of the world, why have I not met T.D. Jakes? Are we going to Dallas? London, Kev? Who? T.D. Are we doing Dallas for a Here's the Thing tour? We, you absolutely going to oh, be down in Majestic. <laughs> T.D. Get me in contact with his people. We, I would. We can I would, get to hold of Sarah. I'm sure we can. I know. I talked to Sarah, but I don't want to ask her to meet her dad. Yes. Make your agents her. work. By the way, so funny. Kirk, uh, Kirk t uh, FaceTimed me the other day, mm -hmm. and I was picking up JoJo. Kirk Franklin. We we duck. Picked up JoJo, so JoJo gets in the car. You were know you, JoJo's melancholy were, McGee. Were you loud when when you FaceTimed him? I, I was Kirk, loud. big Kirk. I've been I've been doing that since Toby because I don't want to give you guys anything else. Uh, and also, we That's, weren't around. You, you only do it when we can hear yeah, I do, it. I do, I do. <laughs> He'll be like, "Hold on, guys, I gotta take this. Close the door." <laughs> <laughs> big Kirk. Yeah, Franklin, melodies from heaven. Stop. So JoJo gets in the car. I'm like, "All right, Kirk, you know, I'm finna go, finna drive, whatever." And JoJo's like. Was that Kirk Franklin on FaceTime? I was like, yeah. He was like, you know Kirk Franklin? I was oh, like, yeah. He was that? like, your famous, famous boy boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think T.D. Jakes might be the person. T.D. Jakes, Denzel, uh, Viola Davis. I'm thinking of people who I admire the most at the top of their craft. Mm -hmm. um, I said Denzel. Um, Jeffrey Kendrick Wright. Lamar, that Jeffrey Wright angel boy. I'd be happy to meet. Jeffrey I wouldn't Wright. run for Jeffrey though. Yeah, I would have ran for Will, but I, I had walked. Like, Jeffrey, what you doing here? Yeah. LeBron. Oh, that'll make him make a big Bron fan, humongous Bron fan. Um, that's probably it. I met Noel Jones. He was my favorite as a kid. Yeah, that's probably it. I'd run for Beyonce, of course. I'd run for Shaka, probably scare her. She probably leave. She probably would. Um, oh, Barack, maybe I'd run for Barack. Oh, <laughs> Michelle. Uh, yeah. Secret Service take you out. You ran. Oh <laughs> yeah, they gonna have to punch me out. Mich Michelle's too close. Punch me in the face. Get me down because I'm not gonna <laughs> do it. Get, get me down. Get me down as quickly as possible. There's probably quite a few. People. Oh, uh, Janae. Janae Aiko. What? Janae. Big running. Um, what's that dude's? No, I'm not gonna make that joke. Tyler Perry. No. What joke are you gonna make? I'm not gonna make it. Make it. No. Text it to me. I don't remember his name, so it doesn't oh, help. Okay. It was a joke for you. Oh, I want to know. I want to know the joke you was finna make. Oh, I never remember his name. All right, Usher Raymond. Nah. Oh, now I'm gonna run for him, so he can be like, nigga, I you got know. your man running to me. Nope, nope, nope. We're gonna make no song with Liz. Oh, I, sure. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> it's Usher Raymond. I'm, I'm on to you. K E V I N. <laughs> I'm on to you, Usher. You ain't finna use my my respect for your craft against me. Ain't that your husband running to me? Nope, nope, nope. Oh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nope. You ain't finna sing a new song. Ain't no new single coming on my account. What about Slim, Kev? Who's that? 112. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I would pay I would to make sure the he... The other way. I would run in tackles. <laughs> if I had to introduce you ever again, I'd be like, you know what, guys? So, I got a special guest. And I would make him sing. 
His name is Kevin Feige. Kill him. Ah! I would run for Jamie Foxx. Oh, Jamie Foxx, I think, is the most talented person on planet Earth. Mm-hmm. So let's run for Jamie. All right. Tyrese, DJ Envy. Oh, Angel, that you are <laughs> not a great person. But it was a good joke, right? Oh, my God. That was a good joke, Thank and I'm you. glad you didn't say it. That's what I see. You see, I have common sense sometimes. Man, Thank you, you. clit head. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, Tyrese and DJ Envy was on The Breakfast Club last week. And I want you to listen to this interaction. Oh, shoot. This is nine minutes long. No, I don't have time Ew. for this. <sighs> Man, I don't. That's too long. Come on. God is. They have one that's two minutes long. But essentially what was said, Tyrese was on The Breakfast Club and he was like, uh, basically, and I didn't know this. I don't know if you guys knew this. He was very instrumental in uh, <clears throat> DJ Envy and his wife reconciling. Uh, Tyrese. Yeah, I've watched the whole thing. It was very weird. He, t- Tyrese flew to New York, said he had some record label stuff to deal with and all that stuff. But he came. He facilitated a reconciliation mm-hmm. so they could reconcile. And while they were reconciling, he sang their favorite song or Envy's favorite song, something like that. Uh-huh. And Envy himself in this clip that's nine minutes long, I searched for it. Uh-huh. <clears throat> he said, um, you know, Envy was like, yes, that Tyrese was instrumental in me and my wife getting back together. So Tyrese was like, so why when I had my issues, instead of showing me the same love and respect, I didn't go on social media and see what was up with you and your wife. I called you personally. I came and pulled up on you to make sure you was okay. Yeah. But when it was my turn, he was like, I get blogs and podcasts. They got a job to do. I'm a big person. They got to make fun of me. That's fine. But I don't expect that for my friends who have already shown love. <clears throat> that love too. I don't expect that from my friends. And we'll tell you what DJ MV said after this ad break. What I was going to say, because I was, I had a segue, but that's fine. I was going to be like, I don't know why they were letting Tyrese in the middle of their marriage and not a therapist that they could have gotten at Talkspace. That's right. I didn't know. Well, just trust me. I trust you, but I had a lot more to say. No, no whatever. Uh, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that seasons changing can affect your, your mood, can affect just how things are going because you know the summer was fun okay we had a blast but school has started back routines are changing and transitions can be hard i know um they are hard for me i actually am a creature of uh, habit and when things change i resist it by a lot it's something that i'm working through as a grown woman now i want to ask you a question do you think that seeing a therapist or a psych a psychiatrist would be helpful uh, but you don't have time to actually find one or meet them or afford them. Is that the case for you? Well, then try Talkspace. By doing everything online, Talkspace has made getting the help you want easy, accessible, and affordable. At Talkspace.com, you can sign up online and get a personalized match with a provider that's right for you, typically within 48 hours. Um, I will say this. Doing therapy online has been a game changer in my life i don't know if i would have been able to have this type of like relationship with my therapist get the type of help if therapy online did not exist so the fact that talkspace is this platform that is providing the service for so many people if you've ever thought about getting help from a therapist I highly recommend you give Talkspace a try. Talkspace can help with any specific challenges you might be facing. It's the number one online therapy platform with licensed therapists and over 40 specialties, including anxiety, depression, substance abuse, relationship issues, and much more. Talkspace is secure and private using the latest end-to-end bank rate encryption technology to store client information and complying with the latest HIPAA regulations. Talkspace is affordable and in-network with most major insurers. As a listener of this podcast, you get $80 off your first month with Talkspace when you go to Talkspace.com slash crew with a K. Crew with a K. To match with a licensed therapist today. Go to Talkspace.com slash crew with a K. Crew with a K. 
to get 80% off your first month and show your support for the show. That's Talkspace.com slash crew with a K. Crew with, with a K. K. Praise the Lord. So Tyrese was asking that, and Envy was like, <laughs> you, I didn't do that for you because you talked crazy to my wife when you was on that medicine, and I should have boxed your mouth. That's what he said. I should have boxed your mouth. I never heard that before. It made sense, though. I should have boxed your mouth. I should have boxed your mouth. So what are your thoughts, Angel? So many things. I think Tyrese had a great point. He's like, I did all this stuff for you when I didn't have to. Mm -hmm. And all you had to do was just show me some common courtesy, right? I had so many issues before that, though. I was like, why the hell y'all letting this grown R&B singer slash uh fast and the furious franchise man in the middle of your marriage he was like i was talking to his wife because there's certain things that she wouldn't hear from him that mm -hmm. she would hear from me let me tell you <laughs> let me tell you what ain't happening in the tanksley household what ain't happening angel our whole house will burn down with us in it before we put a friend in the middle of our marriage I would like you that. you wouldn't let me come and sit betwixt you and marcus and be like now angel what marcus is trying to say is that he loves you and first, he didn't mean what he said first of all i'm not about to complain to no nigga about my man not <laughs> that's what we not about to do i don't what care about the person Nigga. gonna have to be somebody I'm paying that got a license. But what if your friend has some good insight because they're like somebody you've known for a long time? I hope they pray to God that I get the insight. <laughs> what if they was at your wedding and they were like, Angel, now First listen. of all, they shouldn't be in my, how they know my business like that? Unless I'm telling them. Now, DJ Envy, his dumb ass talking about <laughs> his affair out in the open. That's the reason why people know your business. Mm -hmm. Like the affair is bad enough. Now y'all got to deal with people feeling like they need to counsel you. Like I just, I'm not, I'm not here for that. Yeah. And uh, I personally, I've had friends come to me about their marriages and I try to one, get away from that, but also, <laughs> <laughs> but also uh, give as much unbiased type of like, hey. You know what I'm saying? Love is love. love when the sun shines, the moon it's can't be out. It's so hard to <laughs> say goodbye to yesterday. You know what I'm saying? I really don't. It's not. I understand why people have friendships and they, you know, you sometimes use somebody as a barometer. But I'm always going to be like, you need somebody unbiased that can actually listen to what you're saying and give you helpful advice. Not to say that Tyrese might not have given great advice. But then when DJ Envy tried to say, you know, you like a preacher. You telling me to do one thing and you doing the other. See, this is why you don't go to your friends. Right. That's your dumb dumb. But it worked. Your dumb dumb. Did it? It worked for him. He said it. It helped him and his wife reconcile. But now he want to box the man's wanna, wife. Well, that's the second uh, issue. Because I was like, what the time? Tell me what he said, though. I want to know what he said. Because Tyrese he, really filling the gap, interceding, and, and working is amazing. Yeah, you I do would, need a friend who will pull up on you. They might not need to be your therapist, but to pull up and check on you, I respect that out of Tyrese. I'm telling you, I met Tyrese when I did him in Reverend show, he was an amazingly kind human being. Yeah, he made you take down that post too. He he said stop now, and you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you thought I forgot about that? I remember. No, and I bet he is kind. I do. I don't think Tyrese had any bad intentions. <laughs> Kevin, come back to the mic. <laughs> Where'd you go, Kevin? <laughs> funny. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's the duality of time, man. <laughs> He's like, take it down. You were like, oh, okay, buddy. It is our down. God. <laughs> we're going to take it down. You're such a kind man. So kind. So kind. <laughs> So very kind. I really want to know what he said because right now DJ Envy Ugh. is not. It, he's look. It's looking. He's looking mad trash. And if he don't want, and he don't not wanting to put out what was said, mm -hmm. it's it's kind of hard to clear the air. Yeah. If you like, I'm not gonna say what happened. Right. Regardless, you yeah. know what I'm saying. If you're not gonna do that, then it makes you look like. It makes it look like things being equal. You didn't pull up for the way Tyrese pulled up for you. Well, absolutely. That's why I said what Tyrese said made all the sense. It's just like I went, he went out of his way. Yeah. In ways that 
he shouldn't be responsible for doing as his friend. I understand, like you said, pulling up on a friend, checking on him, and maybe holding a friend accountable. Mm. But he to come to the he said he sang at the restaurant and then sat down and had dinner with us. I was like, what in the threesome is this? But hold uh, on, hold on, Angel. They saying that he it was inappropriate relationship flirting. Tyrese was flirting with Gia, apparently yeah. along the lines of, "I wouldn't have done you like that." And again, why I will never complain to no nigga about my man. <laughs> it's not happening. It's not. If I need to really complain about my husband and it needs to be somebody I can trust, it's going to be his mama. Listen, hilarious. <laughs> I'm telling you, that never works well with family and close friends because what happens is eventually y'all reconcile the reconciliation. Mm hmm. And then I'm still harboring ill will towards the nigga. Right. Right. I done had some friends and family. The nigga did them wrong. Uh, uh, Uncle Kev, cousin Kev, big brother Kev done had to come save the day. Next thing I know, come next Thanksgiving, <laughs> that nigga pull up again. Hold on. Mm -mm. You told me he did this and that. Right. So now you want me. And I, I ain't had the reconciliation conversation. I, I, I'm not I'm not seeing that person. I'm still where we was at at that time. Right. So don't, because if you're going to go back with that nigga, then don't tell me nothing. But if it, you're going back anyway, y'all just be in love so we can play these spades and I ain't got to look across the table and be upset at that nigga it, that y'all nigga with that nigga. But that's one point. The other point is you didn't, you didn't told all your problems to this man, woman, mm -hmm. and you man have allowed your woman to, to give all your problems. And then he's like, let me show you all the things that I could do for you. He put that Joe on. Listen. Okay. <laughs> All the yeah, man. Wrong, and, I, and Tyrese can sing the song. Listen. And it sound good. Don't trust a singing nigga. Okay. Them DJ Patty's Izzy can only press play. <laughs> Tyrese can do that thing a, a, a cappella. <laughs> acapella. Sing you out of them draws. See, people don't be confused. People, people be thinking, oh, yeah, well, his intentions are good. His intentions are good until they ain't. There you go. I don't think I've ever, not a, don't even think. I ain't never went to my friends and been like, oh man, help me and Melissa reconcile oh, this. We, we, no, we, we got therapists for that. I go to the Lord in prayer. Let me tell you why I also can't complain to nobody, especially not no nigga about my man. Because as soon as you start talking about my man, I'm them going to want to fight you. Oh yeah. Hold on. Who do you think you're talking what, about? What I, I don't I can it. say this stuff you about him. For help. Who no, are no, you? No, no, say it again. I, 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 I dare you to. Yeah. Yeah. You think you talking to? Listen, they gonna be is... like, I just said what you said. So the fuck what? Because <laughs> that's my man. And thank you too, my man. <laughs> my man. <laughs> now y'all don't reconcile because you go, this nigga was talking crazy about you when I was talking crazy about you. <laughs> right. Said what I said out of my mouth back to me. I slapped a bitch. Because what you're not about to do. <laughs> me and Melissa got a video we're about to shoot. This happened off of real life. We was sitting around on set and she was like, or. I don't know where we were. Maybe we're at home. She was like, man, we need some new bathroom towels. And I was like, we do need some new bathroom towels. I didn't mean to say that. She was like, first of all, I feel attacked. <laughs> what you mean we need bathroom towels? I was like, well, I just said what you said. She's like, but now I feel like you think I don't keep a good house? <laughs> like, I, like I haven't been on it. What are you? What? I, what? I'm just saying what you said. Don't right. say what I'm saying when I'm saying it. Exactly. I can say we need the new bathroom towels because I'm the one who decides. Don't agree. Mm -hmm. Keep it to yourself. And I was like, you know what? You're right. That's like me uh, trying to dress. Oh, I think this thing make me look fat. Marcus say, it does make you look wider. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so now you don't love me. I'm this morbidly obese woman. <laughs> My 600 it. pound life. <laughs> right. Casting now. You just don't find me attractive anymore. <laughs> I just said what you, I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say it. Don't agree with me and I'm agreeing with me. <laughs> All right, before we go, just listen to this Columbus short clip and we'll see how to make of it, what to make of it together. Angel boy. I'll tell you this quick, little, quick, small story about Denzel. Denzel, I, why did I name my son Denzel? My son's name is Denzel. Word. Yep. Denzel, he kept a little nigga to me. He kept making me feel like a little nigga. He had you in training. You was training today. You was the white boy in training today. He kept doing that to me. So finally, I was like, boom. Man, I'm just truncating the story. <laughs> when my son was about to be born, I was like, man, my wife was like, what? Let me name her son. I was like, Denzel. Because why? Because now he's my little nigga. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's deep. That's deep. 
it's not deep. No, it's not. I'm tired of podcast people saying that's deep I'm when they don't know what to say. I'm that's gonna deep. Yeah, that, that's deep. I'm going to say that anytime I think somebody's crazy. Ooh, that's deep. That's not deep. Yeah, it is. That is dumb. It's the that's dumbest the, shit I've it, ever heard. You could have said, mm, that's dumb. Yeah. I want you to be honest. Yeah, that. <laughs> Now Denzel's my little nigga. No, but he's not. <laughs> just, you just called your son your little nigga. Denzel Washington is still who he is. He's the equalizer three right now. Yeah. That's who he is. And he can still little nigga you or whatever the hell it is you think in your mind. You haven't changed anything about the dynamic between you, you and the actual Denzel. And you actually little niggas yourself even more by naming your son after this man. After another man? Ain't never. How, that ain't your father? You name a men after men now? Marcus. That's you little nigga Joe. Yeah, your own self. I... Now your son gotta watch this clip on YouTube Shorts. Yes. He yes. going by his middle name, Ray Nathan. <laughs> Ray Nathan. <laughs> Ray Nathan funny. Why would you do that to that baby? That baby gotta live his life. When he finds that story, well. he's going to meet. He's not well. I need him to go back to Pop Lock in it. I took a dance class from him. It was great. From Clover yeah. Short? Yes. yes. What? Oh, you didn't <laughs> tell you this? You took a dance class from Columbus Shore? Yes, I did. A master class. How many dance classes have you taken? Nick, I was a dancer. I know, but you've uh, taken it from the lady with Lizzo. You've taken it from Columbus. <laughs> I did you take Darren's dancing. dance grooves? Huh? Darren's dance grooves? No, but did I you? did meet him. <laughs> and I, I, I met him at a Delta <laughs> event I was hosting, and he was one of the judges. And I was like, oh, so excited to be here because I still remember the instinct. Bye, bye. This is me on stage. I remember this shit. I was like, and he was on Stomp the Yard playing a yeah. 12th year senior. <laughs> 44. I said you that to that nigga's face. I said, did nobody believe you in college? You're like the dean of students. You look like the founder of the school. Did you take one from Boomcat? No, I've never taken one from Lorianne. Oh, no, she's great. But I'm about to take from uh, Syncopated Ladies. The tap oh, the tap dancers? Mm -hmm. Tell me about this dance class you're taking from Columbus Shore. So one of my good friends, Tora, uh, who's Marcus's best friend's wife, me and her both are dancers. She actually owned, owned a dance studio. She coaches dance uh, for different um, colleges. And anytime she comes to town, I, we like, let's take a master class, right? Even though we were already kind of out of shape, but we were like, <laughs> right. we could still be in a music video. It ain't nothing for us. So Columbus Shore was teaching, I think, at Millennium. I think. And so we signed up for the class and per usual, I'm front row center. Not that I dance better than anyone in there. But I got to be up there. I need to be able to see. I don't want to see past y'all. If you look at me, I'm going to mess you up. Yeah. But that's on you. And sure enough, him and his girlfriend at the time, who was gorgeous, yeah. taught the class. And I was in there. Ah, bah, bah, kick it. So All he that. choreographed the dances? Oh yeah. No, that, that nigga can dance. Yeah, I seen him on Stop the Yard. No, no, no. He's really good. Ooh. That's exactly what it looked like. <laughs> and with it, that was their sign. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. He right. had his career was going so well. Let's Scandal. Cadillac Records. His work as little Walter, he was out outstanding. We was beating people, that's why. Domestic violence. Oh wow. Was it DB? Mm -hmm. Allegedly? I, I thought no, he was no. talking crazy. Or was Isaiah Washington? Let me look it up. No, something happened. I, what I'm saying is something that he was arrested for. Hold on. Columbus Short. Oh, it was. It looks like it was people were saying DB. I didn't even know this. But yeah. He mm. uh, arrested for uh, felony domestic violence. That's what, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's violence. Yeah. Well. That's, I, I do, that's what led to his uh, well, There you go. That'd decay. Be, that led to your decay. Uh, dang, I was going to say something. Top Boy. In it? Have you seen it? No. It's been a long... You talking about the movie? The, the show. TV show. It's, it's out. Oh, there's a TV show. It's the last season. Yeah. Top Boy. They got some... Them them British, they deserve to take some of these jobs. They be acting. They deserve to take some of these jobs. Some of them. I'm not sorry, all of them. I stand Angel. with Angel. I don't... I don't... I don't agree. I... No, because all the black folk that be working... Don't be the ones that be trained the same way as the British people. They just pick the pretty people out here. It's true. I'm, I'm telling you, them British people, even in their own language, on that top boy, the, the woman who plays Jack, whoo, acting. The guy who plays Sully, whoo. Sully's a villain, man. Whoo. You, and he, apparently he's a, a a rapper, like OG yeah. on the, uh. is it called Grime or Drill? I don't know what the much about the UK uh, music. 
Get happy music on the line. It's it's. They said, "What's it, it on?" Grime. What's Top Boy? Top on? Boy's on Netflix, isn't it? Produced, in a bit. Kano. Aubrey Graham. That's his name. But uh, they do be acting. I ain't saying they don't be acting. They, they be, be acting. acting. That John acting. Boyega, he be acting. That Boyega. Did you see? He said the one day y'all gonna be on set together. He did say that. Did I'm gonna hold him it? to it. I ain't hit him up for the London shows. Like, yo, Boyega, pull up. There's he a, probably would. He might, he might live he in might LA. Pull up if he he probably lives in LA. He took a picture with me. He did. He took a picture with the boys too. On the red carpet, I was taking a picture by myself. He came and got into the picture with me. Friend of the pod. I what if it. John Boyega uh, brings you out in London? I'd run to John. Would you? Absolutely. That we, let's amazing. set that up. What are we doing? I didn't. I, I'm gonna uh, pull up, bring up, uh, introduce Come on, us. You can do it. Pull us up, bring us <laughs> up. All right, we love y'all. We'll t- Patreon. We'll tell you about the bonus this week. We got to figure it out because Angel is. No, 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 no. no Angel Friday is, doing is fine. It's Friday. It's just, it's we just don't know what time, time Friday. Right. I what think do we do, I do it early. What do we do after your shoot? What time is your shoot on on Friday? Nine to three thirty. Wow, oh, it's so early. Oh, I can't. Wait a minute, nine to three thirty. I think we could do before. I just got my schedule. I can't do after three thirty. You did. Yeah, they sent it to me during the show. All right, cool. All right, we love you guys. TBT coming up right now. We in some white people business. You feel me? All yep. right, love y'all dogs, man, but don't kiss them in the mouth. You see that lady let her dog lick her in the face? She got all these, like, warts and boils all over her face. Ew, Lottie just crapped in her crate yesterday, so yeah, that's Monty, disgusting. Yeah, he, Monty, he's back in his crate. Me and Melissa have been talking about that's it. That's a good job. He's yeah. a dog, not I'm a like, child. boy, get out of my... Stop sleeping on the floor of the bathroom. Get away. All right, we love y'all. See y'all. Bye. <laughs> There's another banger for you. There's another one. There's another banger for you. There's another one. There's another one. There's another banger for you. There's another banger for you. With my boy Kevin on stage. And that chick angel.